information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Accomplishment Coaching is proud to present the following fine programming. Accomplishment Coaching, where coaches lead and leaders coach. AccomplishmentCoaching.com Welcome to Leadership Insights Radio. Thanks for listening in. I'm Wade Taylor, and we're continuing in our series of 2020 Business Vision, where I'm talking to different leaders throughout the community. And today I'm spending some time speaking with Greg Gibson. He is the Chief Creative Officer at Grizzly, which you can learn about online at www.madebygrizzly.com. So go, up, go ahead and open up a web browser right now made by grizzly.com and they are a branding agency you know they're just nowadays the whole world of advertising marketing creative production branding is kind of all being mushed together because none of it exists without the other so i tend to kind of bundle those things together but you guys do definitely have a strong emphasis on brand building and one of the things that i love about what i've learned about you is you understand brand building is holistic and it's ongoing once you've decided upon your logo you're not done the brand is that experience that's ongoing with the customer, the philosophy that you're continuing to imbue, the culture you're building within your company to support the outward expression of your product. And so, again, I love, Greg, how you, you know, shared with me that you guys take this complete holistic approach. And obviously, you're having great success with that, being companies like Microsoft are knocking on your door to work with you. So I would like for you to start by sharing what it is that they are experiencing, the problem they're having when they first walk through your door looking for your solution. Yeah, I can share a couple of stories. I think in the case of Microsoft, and we've done work with that organization over the last few years, um, and a lot of it was internal culture building. Um, with an organization of 150,000 employees worldwide, you can imagine on a team, if you're on a team at Microsoft, you may be 800 or 3,000 people deep, and you start to lose that idea of belonging that happens when teams uh, exist and work together. And so um, we work with Microsoft in a variety of capacities to help create belonging on teams through brand through defining purpose. Um, one of our clients at Microsoft, I love this idea that really every great team has three things. They have a sense of shared purpose, they have open communication, and then they have, uh, they create this, ide this, this deep idea of trust. And those three things can't exist without each other. And so through brand, we are able to um, create vehicles for people to openly communicate through content series. We're able to define shared purpose for a team of 800 to come together with another team of 1,200 and another team. What, is, what does it look like to, to marry those cultures? Um, and how do we build trust across those areas? Yeah, oh, I, I, you're speaking to the choir in certain ways. I actually have a meetup where I try to bring together corporate marketing departments and corporate HR departments because those frontline employees need to be educated. They need to buy in. Not only does that make them better brand ambassadors, but that imbues them with the purpose of the company and gives them that motivation. So it sounds like that totally resonates with the philosophy that you're espousing. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that thing that a lot of organizations uh, struggle with is uh, it, it's, it's only happening to me. It's all, I, I experienced this, but I've, I've got this one perspective and it's not, um, it's not shared by other businesses. And uh, I think the thing that we've, uh, we've found working with hundreds of organizations over the last seven years is um, it exists in every business, this need to 
create belonging, to um, to find ways to perform better, to bring people together, to bring brands closer with their customers. Um, you see a lot of the same challenges, um, and we love fighting those with creativity. All righty. Well, and creativity is the only tool that's flexible enough to encompass that. Can you talk to us a little bit about your vision for how creativeness um, is expansive? Yeah. So for, for us, I've always seen creativity as the the not only the great equalizer, but the greatest competitive advantages businesses have. You see, um, IBM did a study a few years ago, 1,500 global CEOs said creativity is the single most important skill for any employee that they're looking to hire. Um, you see uh, Forrester in a, in a really recent study within the past couple months coming out um, saying that over the next 10 years, um, there will be a 2x ROI in investing creativi in creativity over technology. Um, and really, for, for us, we, we've latched onto this idea of fearless creativity. Um, I want to go out and, and help businesses solve challenges, but I also want to imbue their culture with the sense of fearless creativity and empowering people to be able to solve problems they didn't think they could. Yeah, that totally resonates in my world where I try to have people understand it's more about the message than the microphone, mm -hmm. right? They get caught up in all these little details and it's like, no, it's what you're sharing with people. It's the emotional connection you're having. Always come back to that and just not to sidetrack, but the youth, right? They're just familiar with this one world and it's an amazing world. But they, I remind that before there was Facebook, there was MySpace. And before there was MySpace, there was an AOL chat room. And before there was an AOL chat room, there was a bulletin board group. <laughs> and before that, it was the corner coffee shop. These are all simply tools to allow us to stay connected with our friends and community. And as long as you always remember the tool's purpose is helping you be connected, then you will be less likely to sacrifice connectivity for sake of the tool. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and how yeah. does that resonate? Yeah, I think community has always been a really big uh, part of, of our DNA. Um, we think about this idea of adventurous brands and those uh, those brands really are concerned with three things. They are concerned with belief. Um, we want to help brands discover their belief so they can fly their flag. Um, they can be about that purpose. It's about existing in the market with bravery. And then it's about going out and creating belonging with the customer, with your employees, with, uh, with the market. And I think within culture, um, for us, we've done that um, in a variety of different ways, but really have been involved in the local community here in San Diego from day one. Um, helped start the largest uh, local creative meetup called Creative Mornings, which um, we are one of uh, uh, almost 200 chapters now globally. Started oh, wow. um, uh, about a decade ago in New York City. Um, and now San Diego happens to be one of the top five chapters in the world from wow. uh, reach and attendance perspective. And that was always the mission, um, the little, you know, the little city that could, right? And um, just to prove not only are we able to have a global platform, but we also... Um, we also deserve to be there. We have a voice, and um, there's a really strong community of creative uh, professionals here in San Diego. And then for me, being on the board of the One Club, um, what was once the, the Ad Club and then SDX and now is the One Club, um, just being able to steer uh, the industry here locally. Right, and the uh, Creative Mornings is something I've seen, but it sounds like I should start attending. Yeah, every month uh, we have about 400-plus people show up on a Friday morning, uh, get free breakfast. It's a free event. Just come and uh, hear a uh, talk by someone locally, a thought leader, and uh, get inspired and kind of end off your week uh, inspired and excited to go into work. Well, so as we're talking about community writ large, but let's focus more on the advertising marketing community. Is there a soapbox? Let me offer you a soapbox to jump on. Sure. Um, is there anything that the marketing community's doing that you wish they would stop doing, or perhaps there's something that you wish they would do more of? I think um, uh, stop doing, uh, stop using the word best practice. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Um, start, uh, stop using the word millennial. Um, I hate how we generalize, uh, you know, 
the largest group of people on the planet as, as if they uh, millennials like music uh, as as do every other person on the planet. So I think, you know, generalizations really hurt our ability to connect with people individually. It hurts our ability to provide value and services that enrich people's lives. Um, and I think businesses, um, while you do certainly have to do things uh, to c- stay comp- competitive, I think the idea of best practice really hurts people. Um, for, from, a, from a marketing and advertising uh, standpoint, what, what people should do is start marrying creativity and data. Um, we're a very strategy-led agency, um, but you have to be able to be willing to be flexible between the two of those things and, and really leverage them for benefit. All righty. Well, very good. So uh, in our final 30 seconds, call out to a CMO at a major corporation. What do you want them to understand about what, how Grizzly can help them? Uh, we're uh, an idea factory. We help businesses uh, with the power of perspective and being able to, to think differently about their brand and how they connect with people. Well, very good. So again, madebygrizzly.com is the website. Greg Gibson is the chief creative officer who shared his wisdom with us. We'll be back next time with more great information here on Leadership Insights Radio, powered by wsradio.com, the worldwide leader in internet content. The National Academy of Distinguished Neutrals is an invitation-only association of over 700 of America's premier civil trial mediators and arbitrators, as rated by local litigators. The Academy's website is an invaluable resource. Firms can search for a neutral by case experience or region, and even check available dates for local mediators and arbitrators online for free. No referral or admin fees. Please visit the Academy at nadn.org today for more information. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the coaches training program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. 6813. Tired of presentations with no impact, no inspiration, and no traction? Do dull speakers have you and your team disengaged and distracted by smartphones? Christopher McAuliffe brings energy, insights, and two decades of experience delivered with punch, humor, and heart. Your team will leave energized, uplifted, and with a sense of purpose. Visit ChristopherMcAuliffe.com to bring some heat to your next speaking engagement. M C A U L I F E. ChristopherMcAuliffe.com. You've heard me talking about Progressive Medical Center. They have helped me feel my best. And Dr. Goley, tell us a little bit about integrative medicine. Why is that such a big deal at Progressive Medical Center and how can that make me feel better? Integrative medicine is just good medicine. It's combining the best of traditional medicine, nutritional medicine, natural medicine, and really helping the patient get to the root cause so they can take control of their health and really make an impact to improve not only their energy, their vitality, and just their overall outlook on their health and their life. I procrastinated for a long time before I finally made an appointment. So why should someone not delay and go ahead and get set up and come see you guys? Any journey begins with that first step. And that first step means making a decision to recognize that there's something wrong with you. Whether you have fatigue, inappropriate weight gain, not sleeping well, not concentrating, all of these issues, you can get to the root cause. So many of us here at The Fish have gotten help from Progressive Medical Center. So why don't you find out more from them today? Go to ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. This is your life. Live it well.